Good day. Today we will start lecture 5-2 on navigation. This will be one of several lectures that we're going to have on navigation. They'll actually take us all the way to the end of the quarter. There are four key questions that we must ask in mobile robot navigation. One of them is, where am I? That's localization. Where have I been? That's map updates or map making. Where am I going? This question is normally determined by either the mission planner or the human. And how do I get there? And that's path planning. So we're going to talk about all of those in great detail over the next several lectures. The objectives of today's lecture are to discuss the obstacle avoidance bug algorithms. That's bug one, bug two, and tangent bug. We will also talk about basic navigation competencies as well as the different types of navigation. It is important to note that navigation is one of the key skill sets that a mobile robot must have. So far in this course, we have explored obstacle avoidance based upon reactive rules such as the potential fields method. However, today we will discuss a type of obstacle avoidance that may require a world model. The bug algorithm is an integration of obstacle avoidance and moving a robot from a start point to a goal point. The bug is the simplest obstacle avoidance algorithm. The robot follow the con follows the contour of each obstacle until it is fully circled before it is left at the point closest to the goal. It is very inefficient, but it guarantees that the robot will reach any reachable goal. The bug two is a bit more complicated than the bug, but a more efficient way of arriving at the goal point. It follows the obstacle always on either the left or the right, and then leaves the obstacle if there is a direct connection between the start and goal. It has a significantly shorter travel time than the bug algorithm. The final obstacle avoidance algorithm is the tangent bug. The tangent bug approves upon the bug two algorithm by adding range sensing. It also adds a local environmental representation term, the local tangent graph. The LTG approaches the globally optimal path. The robot leaves the obstacle whenever it intersects a direct line of sight using a sensor to the goal to create the local tangent graph. Navigation. Navigation refers to the way a robot finds its way in the environment. This is a difficult problem because it is rooted in uncertainty. It is difficult for a robot to know exactly where it is and how to get to its next destination. Navigation is one of the most challenging mobile robot competencies. Successful navigation requires perception, localization, cognition, and motion control. Perception means the robot must interpret its sensors to extract meaningful data. Localization means the robot must determine its position in the environment. Cognition means the robot must decide how to act to achieve its goals. And motion control means the robot must modulate its motor outputs to achieve the desired trajectory. Types of navigation. Reactive robots have behaviors for moving about the world without collisions. However, navigation is more purposeful and requires deliberation. There are two types of navigation. Topological, such as using a New York landmark like the Rockefeller Center to navigate, or metric, such as using miles and direction to navigate. Navigation competencies. The robot must incorporate new information gained during plan execution. The planner must incorporate this new information as it is received in order to correct a plan trajectory. When a planner incorporates every new piece of information in real time, it instantly produces a new plan and reacts. This is called integrated planning and execution. Robot control can usually be decomposed into global and local behaviors or rules. Local behaviors would be wall following and obstacle avoidance. Global behaviors would be finding objects or path planning. This graphic shows a representation of two different navigation techniques in order to move the robot from start point A to goal B. Use localization with respect to a map to navigate to the goal B, or use behavior-based navigation without hitting obstacles to follow walls with obstacle avoidance until the goal is detected. Search and path planning. 
There are many possible paths between the start and the goal point for a robot. The robot finds all of them by searching the map. To make this efficient, the map is turned into a graph, a set of nodes and lines that connect them. A path planner looks for the optimal path based upon some criteria such as distance or the safest. Path planning requires robots to perform high level thinking or reasoning. Planner options. Some planners do not look for optimal paths but use a local map to plan a path and speed up the process. Other planners look for the first path that gets the robot to the goal. It requires a great deal of work to represent the environment plan a path and convert the path to a set of movement commands for the robot. What are some of the navigation problems? The robot may need to use a map for path planning assuming that the map is correct or that the world did not change. The robot may need to also find itself on the map and this is the localization problem. If the robot is trying to find a location on the map without prior knowledge and it must use a good search strategy, this is the coverage problem. And if the robot does not have a map of its world, then it must build a map as it goes along. And this is the mapping problem, sometimes called simultaneous localization and mapping or SLAM.